the Town Challenge Cup now lining up on the start line. This is our elite women's Coxes Falls event. And we're looking at Wairiki Rowing Club of New Zealand lining up on the Buckinghamshire station. And they're going to be facing off against the Denmark's Row Centre for Denmark over on the Berkshire station. And we've seen so many international matchups here in well, this year in the 2022 finals. Um, another cracking one to look forward to here as these guys build through their international seasons. And I'm really excited to see how the Danish and the Kiwis are going to perform here. Yeah, very excited to see them here in the Open Women's Coxless 4 event, um, the Town Challenge Cup. Um, and you've got the New Zealanders there trying to stay relaxed, trying to stay calm, waiting in these moments. Um, and the Danes on the other side, yeah, excited to see how they're going to get on. I saw them this morning, actually. They've done a, all the, the crews were probably out for a paddle this morning. They came off the water. And I was able to just have a chat with them. And they said they're really enjoying being at Henley Royal Regatta, really enjoying the atmosphere, surprised at how big it is. Um, and that's unsurprising to us. Yeah, it's, uh, it must be really special coming here for the first time and with no expectations um, and just seeing the amount of support there is. This is one of the biggest rowing regattas in the world. You know, it's up there with the likes of the Olympic Games, the World Championships. Henley Royal Regatta is so special and fantastic to see so many people up at the start here to watch some international crews uh, kind of blast off into the distance. Yeah, and at the start here, you can still hear what the crowds are saying. You're waiting in these quiet moments. Then as you row along the course, the, the noise gets louder and louder until you get to that steward's enclosure, which is absolutely bursting, as we've seen. And it's just a wall of noise when you get to the end. So we're starting to come to front stops and come to attention now. Denmark this is the final of the Town Challenge Cup between Denmark's row centre on the Berkshire Station and Wairiki like Rowing Club of New Zealand Attention. on the Buckinghamshire Station. Get ready, please. The hands go up in the bow seats there. Julie Paulson for the Denmark's row centre, Catherine Laban for New Zealand, and they tentatively put them down, ready to Attention. race. Go. This straight line down towards Henley Town Centre, towards us here at the finish line. And it's a great start here for the Danish, Greg. Yeah, good start for the Danish. They'll be pleased. I won't be surprised to see them try and take it to the New Zealanders. We often see New Zealand crews. We've seen the Minister Regatta get into a steady pace. Um, but here we are. They're both crews away really nice and smoothly. Both crews steered by the person in the stroke seat on the right. That's Phoebe Spores. On the left, that's... Astrid Steensberg and both crews steering really nicely along the island. Yeah, Phoebe Spores, sister of Lucy Spores, who we saw racing in the Princess Royal Challenge Cup for single skulls. She's now here leading uh, this crew down the track with the steers foot for New Zealand. And pretty equal footing here off the end of the island. But I think if anything, Greg, um, the Danish crew look like they've just come down uh, onto pace that little bit smoother. Well, let's see how this one goes. As you spotted, Camilla, I thought the Danes really went out for it. To me, there was just a little bit more of a look of relaxation about the New Zealanders. And you've got to ask the question, is that going to be relaxation that's helpful as the course goes on? Or is that something that's going to just not give them the pace that they're going to need? But, um, yeah, a good start, I think, for this one. Yeah, and another new combination that we're going to see racing throughout the Olympiad, I'm sure, for uh, Denmark. This uh, crew of Julie Paulson, uh, Marie Johansson, Frieda Nielsen and Astrid Steensberg have come together and uh, been fairly successful at their first international of the season. Three of them winning a historic silver medal in the eight uh, for Denmark, their first ever in that boat category back at World Cup 2. So they're going to be riding high on those feelings of being a part of that historic team for Denmark. Yeah, as you say, the, these women rode in that Danish eight in Poznan. They picked up confidence from that. They put that down as one of their highlights. Now they're coming to the Henley course. And actually, I hope it looks like that confidence is helping them to feel confident here. But they've got into their rhythm and they've just managed to start to move on the New Zealand crew. It's, it was about level coming out of the island. It's looking more like it's about a third of a length now by looking at that board there. 
And look, wonderful steering. We've said it already in these intense moments. It's so difficult to wrangle these boats when you're up at high intensity to do what you want them to do. And uh, these international level athletes are really uh, putting on a performance here to show how it's done. And Denmark, I think from this shot from behind, I'm just watching the blade placements here. And I think just that little bit more together from the crew on the right from De uh, Denmark's row center over the Wairiki crew of New Zealand. But uh, look, New Zealand, they've got an Olympian on board, a silver medal winning Olympian on board uh, in the form of Beth Ross in the three seat. What do you think she's going to be you know, telling her crew at this point where they sit down on Denmark? I think she'll be encouraging them to hold their nerve. Um, I think it's not done this early in a race ever at Henley. Um, and what you're seeing is that the, the crew from Denmark just needing to correct the steering a little bit, both the crews settling into their rhythms. You can see them pretty much exactly stroke for stroke in terms of how they're moving. So now it's about distance per stroke, it's about efficiency. They're both quite high in their rate, both about 37, 38 strokes a minute. Um, so it's about how well those strokes are delivered, whether they can do nothing to slow the boat down. And uh, yeah, in terms of what Beth Ross is saying, I think it's more of the same. Let's just try and edge our way back in the second half. This event here, the Town Challenge Cup, formed at the Regatta in 2017. So still one of the newer events here to get your name on the trophy. And, uh, well, I think still very much up for grabs here. This distance has just remained the same with every stroke. And, you know, I think uh, the, the crew from Denmark are going to be very aware of that. And uh, the, the New Zealanders are creeping up now, Greg. New Zealanders are creeping up, and that marker shows that they're, they're actually seeing them as in front. That number two's gone up, showing the bow ball of New Zealand either in front or perhaps they're going to be level. But it's just, uh, what can I say, a rhythm that just keeps coming and coming from the New Zealanders. They're taking on a little wash now. Look at that wash hitting the two crews. Let's hope they can handle that well. Yeah, and I think absolutely right. The uh, Wairiki Rowing Centre for New Zealand, the New Zealand national team, the women's national four here are a canvas up as they come through to Remenham Club. This is uh, going to be such an impressive move from them if they can hold this all the way to the finish. It's now asking questions of Denmark. You know, Denmark were the... Uh, but sort of stronger performing outfit at the World Cup, but uh, this New Zealand four here come here with a point to prove. Well, it's all learning, it's all steps on the road, and here racing at Henley Royal Regatta, we're seeing the New Zealanders doing what New Zealand crews do so often, which is to get off the start well, then find the pace, and then just be relentless. And they keep coming relentlessly at you at about 36 strokes a minute, moving really smoothly and, uh, and just churning it out. And some steering uh, now being steering warnings being issued now to the crew from New Zealand, and that's going to be the job of Phoebe Spores in the stroke seat to correct them, and not the kind of thing you want to be hearing when you're only marginally in front. That you have to adjust and think about that. Uh, and uh, look at this, Greg. Let's see if it's made any impact on where they are. Well, she's made that correction with the rudder on her foot. The crews have done the work with both their feet, pressing those legs down hard, connecting their blades, and they're doing well. They've moved it out to what looked like about two-thirds of a length. Yeah, it's not uh, ruffled their feathers at all here, the Kiwis. They are still, you know, moving out with every single stroke and a real decisive press uh, down into the finish here for them. Yeah, the New Zealanders did well, but look, they're wandering back towards the middle again now. It looks like the umpire's going to go back to the flag. And again, we're going to have to another little correction from Phoebe Spores. She was reserved for the women's eight for New Zealand uh, at the Olympic Games. Now she's sitting in the stroke seat of this four. She's made that correction really nice and clearly. There might be a little straighten up required, but I think she's put that in place. And yeah, the New Zealanders just keep coming at you. Can the Danes find something? Will this crowd that they were surprised to find here in Henley be able to lift them, take them to a higher level and make a big, big move in the last 25 strokes or so? They are springing here into the final 250 metres. So much liveliness here from the Danish crew, but grit coming from the New Zealanders. They've been so powerful through this final 300 metres. And uh, I think there's going to be overlap by the end, but it's not far uh, from the Danish crew in towards the crowd. And I think that was one through the middle there, Greg. Yeah, I think it was one through the middle. Brilliant performance from the New Zealanders. They held their nerve off the start, got into that relentless rhythm, and it's taken them all the way to the line.
Well, what a uh, endurance uh, sort of effort there from Phoebe Spores, Beth Ross, Davina Wadi, and Catherine Laban of New Zealand. And well, that really took some effort. Uh, barely a celebration for how exhausted they are. Yeah, really calm, deliberate performance, well controlled from the crew from Wairaki in New Zealand. Congratulations on the big win here at Handy Royal Regatta.